In this video tutorial, you are going to learn how to use Screencastify, an easy solution to record your screen and create lessons. First of all, we're going to look at how to install Screencastify on your device, then how to record your screen and edit the recording, and finally, how to export and share your final product. To install Screencastify on your computer, first thing you need to do is open Google Chrome and go to screencastify.com. Once you are on Screencastify website, go to Add to Chrome. Now, this link will take you to Chrome Web Store where we need to click on Add to Chrome. Let's click Add Extension. Once Screencastify is installed, you will see a small icon in the top right corner of your browser. If you don't see Screencastify icon, make sure to click on Extension icon and pin Screencastify. Click on pin extension and now you will have Screencastify icon at the top of your screen. Before you can start recording with Screencastify, we still need to take a couple of extra steps. Let's click on Screencastify icon. A new window will open and Screencastify will ask you to sign in with your Google account. So let's click on sign in with Google. Screencastify will ask you to unlock camera and microphone and also drawing and annotation tools. Please select those and click next. Screencastify will also ask you to use your camera. Let's click allow. Once you've taken these steps, the Screencastify is now ready to be used. To start using Screencastify and record your screen or create video lessons, all you need to do is to open Google Chrome. Now when my Google Chrome is open, I can see Screencastify icon in the top right corner. So when I'm ready to record my lesson, all I need to do is to click on Screencastify icon and select whether I want to record a browser tab, a desktop or a webcam only. When you are creating lessons for your students, you want to select desktop because most likely you will be showcasing some presentations on your screen. So let's select desktop, select the microphone that we want to use. In my case, I'm using Rode microphone. If you don't have any external microphone, simply select internal microphone. If you want to embed web camera, select the webcam that you want to use while recording your screen. In my case, I want to record my screen without webcam. Once you're ready, click record. A Screencastify will show you what is going to be recorded, either an entire screen or an application window. Select the entire screen, click on it, and then click share. Now, my entire desktop is being recorded. I can now minimize Google Chrome and demonstrate or run a lesson for my students. There are a couple of things you can do while recording your screen, like for example, making annotations. To do that, make sure to open Google Chrome one more time and look in the left bottom corner and these are the options that you have. First of all, you can pause recording. Then once you're ready to resume, click resume recording. Also, you have a selection of three mouse pointers. You have focus mode, highlight part of the screen that I want my students to pay attention to. A very useful tool if you are presenting a material. You can also hide cursor when not moving. Right now, if I stop moving my cursor, you notice how it will disappear. Finally, we have highlight clicks. You notice that once I click on the browser, the cursor is highlighted in red. However, if I move elsewhere and move and click on my, on my desktop, the cursor highlighter doesn't work. And once you click on the pen, you can start annotating some parts of the browser window. You can change the color of the pen in the left bottom corner as well. And once you finish with the annotation, you can click an eraser and erase your notes. Those features only work on the Google Chrome browser window. However, the, the Screencastify will, will record your entire screen. When you want to stop the recording, you can either click on stop sharing or you can pause and stop the recording from there. So I'm going to click on stop sharing. Once you've stopped your recording, you will be taken to a Screencastify editor. This editor enables you to trim your clip from the beginning or from the end. In other words, you can move the scissors icon from the beginning to cut some parts of the clip out. You can also trim the clip from the end by dragging the same icon. 
So as you can see now, some parts of the clip are now grayed out and they will not be saved as my final project. Once you've trimmed your clip to the desired length, we're going to click Save Trim. If you would like to have more editing options, Screencastify has a standalone editor, which you can access by clicking on Open an Editor. This option, however, is a premium feature and only accessible for premium users. But now let's get back to our basic editor where we trimmed our clip, we are happy with it and we are ready to share it. There are a couple of options as to how you can share your clip. You can either export this video directly to your Google Classroom. If I click to Classroom, Screencastify will, will ask me which of my classrooms I would like to assign this video to. Clip, select one of my classes in Google Classroom, select an option as to how this video will be shared with my class, either through assignment or ask a question or simply an announcement. In my case, I simply want to create a material. Once this is done, I'm going to click OK. Now you will notice a usual Google Classroom interface with the title of the material matching the title of the clip. The Screencastify will automatically attach my video to the material, so the only thing I need to do is click Post. Once I've done that, I can view. If I go to Classwork, you will notice I now have material titled my clip and my clip will be right here. So if you are using Google Classroom as your learning management system, this is a very useful step. If you would like to download an original file and share it with your students in another way, simply click on download and export as MP4. Screencastify will ask you whether you want to convert to fixed frame rate. I've never done that. Let's simply click export. Once video has been processed, click on download MP4. The downloading will start and now my clip is in my downloads folder. I can rename this clip and share it with my students. Today we've looked at Screencastify, an easy way to record your screen and create video lessons. We've learned how to install Screencastify on your device. We've learned how to record and edit your recordings and finally how to export your final product. If you have any questions about any of the steps, feel free to leave your questions in the comments. Thanks for taking your time to check out this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time.